What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today we're talking to Air Jordan 13 Wolf Grey. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I started my own life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive in today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, we're talking to Air Jordan 13, Wolf Gray. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over here today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release August 5th, to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $200, right? Okay, and of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price, and right now, look like they're averaging right at retail at roughly $200 and up, depending on the size, right? Okay, now if I had to guess, once these actually officially drop, that resale price is probably gonna go below retail. 13s don't really get a lot of love like that, but I wanted to say one thing when I saw these joints, Jordan brand, Nike. I feel like we've seen this before, and I know I've been kind of saying this throughout majority of my videos this week, but I can't help it, man. Honestly, if you felt like you've seen this shoe before, I can see why you think that, right, okay? Some shoes that come to mind right when I saw this joint is the Air Jordan 13 History of Flight, right? And I'm gonna have some images coming up on the screen. That one was dropped back in 2017, I believe, to the best of my knowledge. And also, there is a Air Jordan 13 just, um, gray toe right that's what i was thinking yeah because i was like i thought they already did this shoe but this one is actually called a wolf gray but the other shoe that i was thinking of that it's back from 2014 i believe right to the best of my knowledge they did a gray toe version which again slightly different but at the same time you can see where they just kind of move some colors around which we could arguably say that about almost any sneaker probably within any like not just to pick on nike right i don't want to just pick on nike we can say that about new balances we can say that about adidas we can say that about all of them if we really really look at it like even this shoe all the shoes behind me where i'm like man these are different when the reality is i got the same model shoe and they painted it different colors not that that's a bad thing but sometimes if it's a little too obvious and that's what i'm getting at this one looks like it's a little too obvious that like man you guys literally didn't really y'all just like hey Put this there, we're gonna call it the Wolf Gray. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. And I, maybe it may have been more thought to it than that, right? Okay, now I will say this, this will be a great summer shoe. And or for the people who probably don't really like 13s, but you're looking for something like to get for comfort wise. Cause I do want to give 13s their credit. They're most definitely super duper comfortable. I can't take that away from them at all, even if I tried, right? Okay, but it's kind of one of those, how many 13s do we really need? But then again, you could probably literally probably like debate me and be like well how many air jordan ones do we need do we need you know what i'm saying so either way like it's one of those i don't know if i'm going to the og status a little early because that stuff kind of makes me think a little bit but overall i'm just like yo this one y'all not getting me with this one this one's not kind of like it's not it's standing out but not necessarily in a good way now does that mean it's a bad shoe no it's definitely a dope shoe and with it being wolf gray gray is also one of my favorite colors too because it's a neutral colorway and you can arguably wear it with almost any color palette you can literally so this shoe is going to be versatile in general right it's a lot of things going for this shoe however Y'all know 13s don't really get the love like that, but if you are in the market for a 13 and you're looking for a comfortability, this could be that shoe for you. But overall, for me personally, right, okay, with all that being said, um, for me personally, they will be a skip. Not a bad shoe, just some I wouldn't write home about. Again, if you get the shoe, it doesn't mean like it's a bad shoe, but at the same time, it's kind of one of those it can easily become a beater right okay you know and or just take care of your sneakers in general because you may can just break even on the sale if you want to go that route as well but overall these will be a skip for the kid but i want to know what you guys think down in the comment section and we'll be going after these on august 5th retailing at 200 dollars. and of course let me know if you think they're drip or skip all right man i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling man y'all be sure to hit that like button it really helps the channel out and if you're new consider subscribing i made content about sneakers again my name is jeremy jones and thank you for watching and i'm out 
I think I'll 